welcome to the unboxing of the KZ AS16 Pro. So we are presented with a unusual box from KZ. So this is not what we get from their usual uh, $20 to $30 range IEM. So it's more of a premium feeling box with KZ's logo uh, embossed in a gloss finish at the front. And the some specs and the information at the back in the same gloss printing so when we open up the box you're presented with the cases uh, mo moto and the IEMs themselves at the other side so you are presented also with a metal face plate presenting a KZ AS16 Pro. 16 drivers balance armature earphones. So this is a balance armature only earphone. So there's eight balance armatures per side. So here are the IEMs themselves. Let's take them out of the foam like protective case. Here are the IMs themselves if you want to take a closer look at it. You can see the there we go. You can see the balance armatures inside. And the faceplate seem to be in line with the uh, CCA Lyra's style of uh, diamond like uh, engraving inside of the window of the faceplate yeah it's a nice I got also got the cyan coloring so there's also a black one if you prefer that color and let, let's put this aside there's a the regular easy use user guide and for the cable get the usual easy cable that we see so it's, it's kind of disappointing that we get this same kind of cable in the flagship level KZ IEM so but yeah we can't do anything about it yeah it's what we typically see and what we all know and for the tips it looks like it's a new one from KZ because this does not look like the typical starlight a uh, star line sorry for that the boys reference so yeah this is the star line tips but it's made out of a uh, more durable and a better material than those that came with the regular translucent white Starline tips. So yeah, it's kind of nice they did this. I hope that they did the same for the cable, but yeah, we can't do anything about that. Yeah, that's the unboxing of the KZA S16 Pro, and I will transition to the first impressions. The first impressions of the KZA S16 Pro. So the overall tonality of this IEM is clearly a U-shaped musical. Uh, tonality so it's uh, coming out of left field from KZ because uh, KZ typically does the opposite of that which is a uh, v-shape very bassy and trebly uh, tuning so I'm really happy that KZ did something finally different for this one so it's without a doubt the best KZ IEM in my opinion in terms of tuning overcomes the typical stereotypes associated with balance armatures so uh, for context on that uh, balance armatures are uh, kind of known to have a great resolving capability yet has a very thin presentation so the KZ A16 Pro does not lean into that so it's surprising for a an all uh, balance armature setup so it still retains the faux resolution which I have discussed in the in my first impressions of the uh, CRA Lyra so okay, the full resolution KZ has but it's significant, significantly lessened and controlled so for the base it's a mid base focus IM it hits with absolute authority but it still like slightly lacks the mid to back it up so due to the lack of headspace it has so more on that later 
this hits more harder than what it intrinsically presents. So, uh, so the aforementioned lack of headspace can also sometimes result in some base bleeding into the mid-range but not to an offensive extent. So due to that uh, aspect, this IM has a warmer presentation to it which really helps with the uh, thick mid-range it produced. So for the mid-range, uh, it's the best mid-range tuning KZ has done. So it's uh, hands down for that. It's musical and meaty, so which quickly resolves the issue I had with the Lyra with its musical yet leaner presentation. So instruments and voices are warmly rendered but has a slight inclination to female vo voices due, its, due to its steep transition into the upper mid-range. So it's, it has this excellent presentation as I said but lacks some layering nuances to really bring out melodies and harmonies in songs. Uh, uh, I tested this one uh, using uh, Night Wishes and Behemoth songs. So it really, uh, those uh, artists especially in their latest uh, outings and albums have a great vocal layering and melodies in them so this um, KZA 16 definitely renders them excellently but it still lacks the uh, definitive layering that these uh, harmonies uh, need to uh, have their impact so this uh, as I have said the upper mid-range aggressiveness straddles between the line between a shouty and a non-shouty presentation but it never goes beyond it so it's uh, quietly treading the line between a shouty and a non-shouty uh, presentation so for the treble once again it's another best tuning KZ has done in terms of treble so it's fairly fairly controlled and relaxed without sacrificing body and shimmer so sometimes uh, KZ uh, produces treble that is either full of body but without shimmer or full of shimmer but without body so the KZA S16 Pro has both of them so it's a comforting uh, knowledge but it still has a tinge of the full resolution I have been hearing from the KZ lineup so this full resolution sometimes sticks out as a sore, th sore thumb amidst the overall excellent treble response which sometimes result in a tiring listen when combined with aggressive upper mid-range. So if you're into more uh, female vocals that are reaching into the higher register, so it can sometimes lead to a more tiring uh, hearing session. session. So uh, as I have said earlier, so the lack of extreme treble extension which lacks, which results into a uh, lesser headspace for instruments to and the bass hits to have some space to breathe in. So for the sound station imaging, so it's average in both departments. It's what we typically see in from KZ's lineup. So it has a good width but lack height and instrument distance. So it's slightly understandable due to its uh, all balance armature setup. So that's also a feature of balance armatures. The uh, usually present a more intimate uh, output uh, when compared to dynamic drivers due to their airless presentation so uh, but the treble extension as I've said in the treble frequencies would have helped a lot in terms of sound stage and image so that's all for my first impressions of the KZ AS16 Pro. So stay tuned for the full review. So goodbye guys and Koji out.